Let me hit another aspect of the workforce, uh, and then and then I think I've got one or two others as well. But if I really look at the workforce today, you know, we've talked a little bit about you know the growth of the of the first world workforce and the and the slight change in, in, in the personality and the social collaboration around that. I think you know the the other piece of that is, of course, there's a there's a much larger workforce that is growing up, and you know we've traditionally taken advantage of that through something like outsourcing. Uh, you know, outsourcing of IT to uh, to a developing nation, and we've taken advantage of the fact that those nations are training their employees to really be able to respond in an outsourced fashion. So culturally, we're seeing a slightly different set of education and set of collaboration technology, you know, techniques uh, that are that are happening. I think realistically, though, you know, the company is still going global. Um, and more interestingly, um, you know, the arbitrage that we used to see between the salaries uh, is, uh, is definitely equalizing. So your developing workforce really isn't the cost savings that you thought it was. Uh, and in fact, you know, that was, a, that was a, probably on all of our parts a relatively short-sighted approach of, well, let's go see if we can save money over here. In the end, it cost us money because we tried to adapt a different culture to something that we already could have done. It may or may not have worked to varying degrees of success, and now what we've got to do is reestablish the competencies that we lost by outsourcing in the first place. What we've missed in all of that is the is the wonder of the multiple cultures. I view it less as outsourcing of a specific job to a specific culture. I see it more of localizing for cultural excellence. So we are all a global workforce now, or at least you know a lot of the businesses. What we need to do is we need to actually localize for the competencies that we're seeing across those various cultures. If I've got a good base of innovation uh, you know, in a certain area, I want to drive my innovation there. And I, I don't want to go try and outsource that team. I want to go try and focus that team. If I've got the ability to follow a strong process elsewhere in my company, I want to go put a lot of my process skills there. And I want them to go ensure that that process runs smoothly. I probably am not going to go ask them to innovate that process because that's not uh, that's not the competency that they're good for. But I can take that process and I can put it in an innovative team. I'm going to get a very different process out of it, one that might be better than I'm going to be able to then globalize uh, across uh, or across the globe. And so as I look at that, I really see a localization of competency becoming the new globalization for IT. And that's something that we're really going to need to understand as we, as we you know, truly start to look at the competencies, competencies that we've established by putting teams all over the world in these large companies.